The first time I saw this problem, I went, what's going on here? It looks crazy. Well, but it's an equation. Okay, so I've been thinking, is there an easier way? Is there a nicer way to um, solve this problem so everybody just enjoys it? But I noticed that the nicer you want it to be, the longer the process gets. And we don't have time for that. So this is what we're going to do. We're just going to integrate this using any method we want to integrate it. And we might do our U substitution, whatever we want to do, um, and find it. But you see, you cannot evaluate the integral because you don't know what this number is because we don't know what Y is. But they told us that it's always going to be equal to 13. Okay, so what we're going to do is just Let's just start with our u substitution because I know u substitution is going to be good for this integral because the derivative of this is going to contain x. Okay, so let's quickly start with u substitution. So we're going to say, let u be equal to negative 2x squared plus 9. Okay, that's how I, I like doing my u substitution, just using what's under the radical sign or what is con confined. Okay. Um, and from here, because I know I'm going to need, um, well, I don't need anything extra. So what's my du? du is going to be negative 4x dx, okay? Which tells me that um, negative 1 over 4 du equals x dx. So now I have x dx here, and I can do my u substitution, okay? Um, anything else? Oh, I need to evaluate u. If I evaluate u at the lower boundary, if I plug in 0 for x, it's going to be negative, where is it? Negative 2 times 0 plus 9, so I'm just going to get 9. And if I evaluate u at the upper boundary, it's going to be the square root, let's write that, the square root of 2 log 5y plus 1. Okay, if I plug this in for x, well, this is going to remove the square root sign. And so I'm going to have negative 2 times 2, which is going to be negative 4 log 5y plus 1 plus 9. So this is what I'm going to have as the upper boundary. Yeah, it looks a bit not so nice. Okay, so for now, okay, we're just going to keep writing it. Okay, let's go. So this problem can be rewritten as the integral. So if we clean up, this is going to be, let's clean this up first for the u-substitution. So the u-substitution for here, it's, um, I'm going to write 3x, the square root of negative 2x squared plus 9, and then I have dx. But we already said that x dx can be replaced by negative 1 fourth du. So this is the same thing as, so this and this will be replaced by negative one-fourth du, okay? And then I have three, and then I have what I call this, that's the square root of u. So the arrangement is the integral of um, negative one over four times three times um, square root of u, then du, okay? That's the better arrangement. So this can be negative three over four integral of square root of u du. Well, square root of u, we can write as u to the one-half. And basically, that's what I'm going to be integrating here. So let's go here. We have the upper bound is now going to be um, negative 4 log 5y plus 1 plus 9. And under is going to be 0. And here we're going to have... Uh, oh, we're going to bring out the negative 3 over 4. So I'm going to put that here, negative 3 over 4. And we have um, under, we have u to the one half du. This is where the work is nastiest. Once you're able to get this organized, let's put this negative 3 correctly here. So once you're able to write this, then you can just take the integral of this. You can see that it's a lot simplified. And remember that everything we've done is equal to 13. This, sorry, this is equal 
to 13. Okay, so we're gonna maintain that. So let's continue. The next move is to integrate this. Remember that when you integrate this, what you have is gonna be negative three over four multiplied by the integral. If we integrate this, we're gonna get u to the three halves over three halves, okay? Which is the same thing as times two thirds of u to the three halves, okay? Now evaluate it from the lower boundary. Oh, the lower boundary is not zero. The lower boundary is nine. Come on, it's nine. Okay, so it's gonna be from nine to the upper boundary, a complicated expression, negative four log five y plus one plus nine. Interesting. Okay, so, I want to be sure that this substitution was right. Okay, I think it was right. Okay, so let's go on. And now, let's evaluate. This two will cancel this. So before you evaluate, you can get rid of the constants first. So this cancels this. We're gonna have negative one over two. Okay, and then we're evaluating u to the three halves from nine to the top part, hey, and this is equal to 13, okay? And this is gonna be minus four log five y plus one plus nine, okay? Equals 13 again. So let's see, you can, because this is an equation, so I can re remove this one because I now have an equal to sign. Let's do this, okay. So now I can get rid of this one half by just taking this there. So it's gonna be, if you multiply both sides by negative two, you're gonna end up with negative 26 on this side. And on this side, we're gonna end up with negative four log five y plus one plus nine, okay? raised to power three halves minus, now I'm subbing the lower one, nine raised to power three halves. So this gives me negative four log five y plus one plus nine minus, this one will be the square root of nine raised to power three, that's 27. And we'll be getting negative 26, okay. And then we're gonna get, if this 27 goes over here, or you add 27 to both sides, you're gonna end up with one. And on this side, we're gonna end up with negative four log eight, five y, sorry. My mind is active. Five y plus one plus nine. If we take this nine to the other side, we're gonna end up with negative four log five y plus one equals, subtract nine from both sides, you're gonna end up with negative eight. Now we can divide both sides by negative four. If we divide both sides by negative four, you end up with, hey, we don't wanna have two equal signs. We're gonna end up with um, the logarithm of five y plus one will be equal to two. Oh, now we can solve this one because this is just algebra, okay? This is a pre-calculus logarithmic equation kind of problem. Well, because this logarithm is in base 10, you know that for you to get this, it means this implies that five y plus one is equal to the base raised to power two, which is 10 to the power two, which is 100. So as you can see, 5y plus 1 equals 100, which implies 5y equals, if you subtract 1 from both sides, that's going to be 99, which implies that y equals 99 over 5. And this is the answer to this crazy looking integral equation.
don't stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.